First of all, hello. It's been a very long time. You may not even remember my name. It's, it's Adam. Adam Olinger. This is my channel. I haven't posted an actual new video in months now. Of course, I've, I've done some best of movie feuds you may have noticed recently. Not many, as the, the views have been very low on those. As a few of you know, a few of the diehards that have been with me since season one or two of the channel, which was initially called Movie Feuds, then changed to Feud Nation, then changed to Adam Does Movies. It's it's complicated. It's a it's been a it's been a journey through these last I don't know nine years, nine years, maybe ten years, off and on. I mean, there was a while where I, I didn't even put out a video for like six months. At one point, around season five, uh, after well four, I guess after Corey left. Uh, anyway. The, the, the show Movie Feuds and the channel has gone through a lot of changes over the course of time. Uh, not only was I doing Movie Feuds, I was doing Adam Rant's movies, I was doing reaction videos here and there as like a joke. I had my side characters like Khaleesi Grimes from The Cringe. Uh, I, I think honestly, uh, Car Side Reviews, I think I honestly have done over 14, 15 different shows uh, off and on on the channel which then made me uh, do a second channel, which featured more of my non-movie related stuff, which you can find at Adam Olinger, of course, just Adam Olinger, my name. I haven't posted anything new here for a couple months because I've been working my ass off due to COVID. Um, I have two kids at home that are under the age of 12. I have a 10 year old and an eight year old who are both doing distance learning and I'm the teacher basically. I also have a full-time job as a web developer and designer that I've been at. The, I've been at this company for five years now. They've been amazing. Um, we, we had a good year, even though the economy and stuff in general has been kind of shaken, uh, which is an understatement for a lot of people. I, I, I am sorry if you've lost a job because of this or if, if financially things are tough. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough. My wife went back to work. She works at a... <laughs> A senior, uh, a senior center, a retirement home, and she's seen the firsthand um, complications and and uh, mortality rate drop because of this virus. So it's it's something we're taking very seriously here. So I'm at, I'm at home pretty much all the time with the kids. Um, but yeah, we, things had to change basically on the channel because I was doing so much stuff just for the family seeing like virtually no revenue come from um, movie feuds or just the channel in general, both channels, was very disheartening after I put in years and years of uh, sweat, blood and tears, not my tears, uh, other people's tears, into the show. I got an email from Screen Rant asking if I'd, I'd be interested in being on their podcast. They do a podcast where they're, they, they are interviewing, you know, creators in the YouTube space. And I thought, first off, okay, they know who I am. That's fun. That, 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 this is a surprise, like the Watch Mojo thing was a surprise when I made on their top 10 most underrated YouTubers list a couple years ago. That was like both an honor and kind of like, oh, well, that sucks that I'm underrated. I'd rather be overrated, but whatever, it's fine. I'm glad they knew who I am. Anyway, I had no idea Screen Rant knew who I was. It's clear that I, I, I'm making some sort of an impression online without it really coming back to me at the end. You know, you don't, you don't really see it in the subscriber numbers. You don't see it in the, the revenue, of course. I don't really get invited on other people's shows, even though that's something I've, I've you know, extended the olive branch to others in the past. That wasn't really a sentence, but I'm going to keep going. I don't, I don't have a lot of time these days, so I'm, I'm trying to get through this. I also wanted to go further than that, so I, I decided, you know what, Adam? These guys know who I am. Other people know who I am. I had an opportunity... A couple years back with uh, the Property Brothers, which is a, what is that, TLC? Is that, is that right? The, whatever the home improvement network basically is, HGTV. There it is. I got there myself. Uh, th those guys, uh, the Scott Brothers, they like run the channel basically. And they, they reached out to me to do a show for them, which was called Working Title. You can find all the episodes on my channel. I swear I'm going to get to the point eventually here. But these were like the biggest celebrities that I've ever personally talked to. And the fact that they, again, knew who I was, was mind blowing. Here I'm doing an exclusive show for their, their network, their, their online network with like I Justine and a couple other big names in the YouTube space. And I just, I thought it was just bananas. Like they were paying me per episode. It was good money. I thought this is it. This is the break I was looking for that can 
launch me into the next thing? Because that's always what Movie Feuds has been. It's been, how do I get this in front of as many people as humanly possible so I can just make people laugh, entertain them, and talk movies? I emailed back. I said, listen, I want to do the I want to do the podcast, but are there any other opportunities uh, at this company? I, I want to I want to get myself out there. You guys are a huge platform. You know who I am. Let me you know let let me give this a shot. Uh, so they said yes. We have a couple ideas. And after a few back and forth emails, they said, okay, how would you feel about doing a documentary series? And if you followed me on my community tab, which I update, you know, once in a while, I think, I think I'm okay with that. I, I have now done two documentaries for them, one on Black Panther and one on Avatar, the live action of the amazing animated show. I thought they turned out really good. I put a ton of hours into them. Um, I'm contracted through Screen Rant, so they pay me per the, you know, per job I do. And I was making more just on those two documentary videos than I did in the last, like, I want to say five or six months on YouTube, pumping out all the movie feeds and videos. Like, that's not a testament to how well I'm getting paid for these. It's a testament to how poorly I'm getting paid on my YouTube channels. Not that the money's horrible, but still, it's it's like this off, awful back and forth. Anyway, I did the two videos and I said, okay, I want to do more. This is my flagship show, Movie Feuds. This should be much bigger. This should be much more popular than it is. And whether that's my fault or, or somewhat YouTube's fault or a combination of both, I don't know. But they are in now. I am now, this is, this is where I finally hit the punchline. You know, this, this, I swear I'm not extending this for ad revenue or anything. I'm just, I haven't talked to you guys in a long time. So I'm trying to, trying to kind of like fill in all the gaps. The reason I haven't been doing a lot of videos here is because I've been, you know, working, doing the kids, uh, trying to keep my wife happy. Uh, I was doing Twitch for a while. I, that's why I've stopped doing that because I did the documentary series, which were like 25 hours a piece to do. Plus, I did the first episode of my big announcement called Real Rivalries. This is what Movie Feuds is going forward. I still like own movie feuds, if you can own such a thing, that's still my property. I can't do them while I'm doing real rivalries though. That was the deal. I am writing, I am on camera, I am editing, and I am fully invested in this show. Real Rivalries is uh, airing, if you will. It's, it's launching tomorrow. I'm posting this on Wednesday. It's launching tomorrow, they told me, around one o'clock, which should be Thursday, if I did my if I did my days of the week right. And I hope that it's well received. I, I would love if you went over there. I don't even care if you subscribe to Screen Rant. That'd be cool because I have a lot of content I, I hope to be doing there. But at least go there for me. Leave a comment, like the video, tell people who I am in the comments, be like, this show's great because I know what's gonna happen. If you know Screen Rant, you know what's gonna happen. 90% of the comments are gonna be like, this guy's not Ryan George, I think his name is. Ryan George. No disrespect to him, he's really funny. He's the super easy, barely an inconvenient guy that does the, the, the movie pitches. Hilarious show, I, I, I watch it all the time. Anyway, the comments on Screen Rant are pretty vicious like that. So it, it, it is a little bit um, scary for me to be going in front of a much larger audience that doesn't know who I am, they don't get my humor. Um, rest assured, the show has not changed as far as my delivery goes, whether that's good or bad, I don't know. Still sarcastic, still um, doing the humor, still doing the research, still writing the show, still still Dre at the end of the day. Um, the, the format has changed a little bit. It's no longer the traditional rounds. I always do story, cast, uh, production, although those are still in play. We, we're writing some fun ones into the mix. The thing that I like most about this is, and it's the same that went with the documentary series, is these guys are not afraid to tell you what works, what needs improvement. So on this first episode of Real Rivalries, they already came back with feedback. They said we need to add a little bit of background music, spice it up a bit. Uh, I think we could trim this here. I think you could extend this here. And this needs more polish, which is something I've never had in the past and I do welcome it. As someone who designs web websites for my main job, for my main source of income, I hear this all the time. Like, hey, that doesn't look nice, or that font's ugly, or 
pop this up a little bit more or make it a little more clean. That's the thing people love to use. Just, just clean it up a little, make it more clean. What does that mean? You want it, you want it white? You want it uh, empty? Just one word on the page? That's typically what they mean, honestly. Anyway, this is an opportunity that I seized. It's one that was a long time coming for me, personally. I, I think that the show has potential to be huge. Whether or not their audience reacts well to me, I don't know. But it is, it's going to be a... Uh, it's going to be a... Um, We'll know very soon, I guess is what I'm trying to say. We'll know very soon. Anyway, I apologize for the lack of content. I apologize for the delays. I've just, it's, it's a crazy time, I think, for everybody right now. We're all trying to find our way through this. So the movie feuds are on hold. If they absolutely hate real rivalries over there, if you're still watching this, I apologize for the length. I, I really do. Do something else while I'm ranting. Um, if they enjoy the show over there, then I'll keep pumping them out. I hope to do one a week or every couple weeks while also doing the documentary series. If you don't want to subscribe to Screen Rant, I mean, I think they're good. They're, they're fine. Yeah, they do clickbaity titles. Even the documentary series I did, I don't get the title them. So it's like how Black Panther changed the world. And right out of the gate, I'm like, oh, do we have to title it that? I actually pushed on that, but that's what their docu-series is called. How Blank Changed the World. So they, they, they know what gets people to click on the video. And I guess they don't care if 90% of the comments are like, this didn't change the world, even though I never say that in the, the 20 minute, you know, video whatever that as long as i'm getting eyeballs on the video i don't care how they get there okay if you don't want to subscribe there though i will i will do like a a feed you know i'll i'll, I'll post i'll have a real rivalry section and i'll just you know link the videos on my channel so you can do it that way or you can do it on your own channel if you have a youtube page uh you know we have an opportunity especially those that have been with me for a long time you know that the this channel is not immune to change we do it quite often. It seems like every six months or a year, there's a new show that pops up that it's a little lively. The Cringe, I think, is a, a lot of people like that one. I still do plan on doing those once in a while on my second channel. I haven't done crap there in so long, but I, I do want to get back to that. Um, anyway, we have an opportunity to do new things here. If you have suggestions, if you have ideas, leave them in the comments. Let me know what you want to see. I still can do Adam Rant's movies. I, I was thinking uh, bad movie pitches. Not bad movie pitches. Um, bad movie auditions. I did one of those recently for Captain Marvel. I, I, I think that's a series I could regularly do since it doesn't require a lot of scripting. I just kind of, you know, search the most popular scenes in the film, reenact them. Plus, I just, in the top of my head, know a lot of movie scenes and whatnot. So that's, that's easy enough to, to create. And then whatever else you know you think would be cool would, would catch on, feel free to leave it in the comments. Um, I it's clear that I have to schedule things out. I have to have a plan of attack with all these different shows, you know, going on because real rivalries took a lot longer than movie feuds took to make, because of the extra care and polish that went into it. It's about a 15-minute video. Um, I think I got it edited down to. Uh, I think you're gonna like it. I really hope so. It's you know, The background's the exact same. The background didn't even change. They're like, yeah, that one's fine. We'll, we'll use that. So Twitch maybe one day a week when I can figure that out down the road. I got to find a day to schedule to just script. I got to find a day to film. I got to find like two or three days to just like hang out with my family at night. Even though I see the kids all day. My wife, I guess, needs attention too. So yeah, there, there's just a lot of stuff I need to figure out on my end. Thank you for being patient. Thank you if you've supported me. Thank you if you continue to just wait for me to come out with new material. I am sorry this was long, but I haven't been in front of the camera with you guys in a while and I, I just wanted to get it all out there. I'm rambling, I'm not really being funny, <laughs> but th that, that, that's coming up, I can assure you. So yes, tomorrow, Real Rivalries kicks off. Please be excited. Please, please, please enjoy it. And please comment and like and do whatever you need to do to help me out. And I think with that, I'll bid you adieu. Uh, also, leave a comment one last time, what you want to see on this channel, because it's not dead. It's just, it's, it's on a little bit of a slow roll. But we'll figure it out together. Take care.